Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the finale for our wonderful Republic of Pirates playthrough. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. We're set up just outside the island that we need to take now. We need to get rid of the British in Newport Island. And there's uh, still these uh, seemingly invincible enemy ships are still guarding this. So we have to do, you know, progress through the game a little bit more to get rid of these guys, I'm pretty sure. So I've got a pretty sizable navy here. But of course, there's no match for those guys while those ships exist. So the first thing we need to do is this Terror of the Seas. We need to build a man of war. In order to build a man of war, we need to get a bigger shipyard. And so in the seafaring category, we have this advanced shipyard and it's going to take a lot of resources to make this thing. But if I place it over here, uh, things like right here should be fine. Uh, yeah, let's put it right. Let's put it right here, actually. Yeah, right there. This little shipyard here is a larger shipyard here. In fact, is uh, going to be what we need to do this. Now, it's not connected to the roads yet. So just give me a second. Let's get that done right through here like so. And we'll just kind of go like that. Okay, so that is now connected. We could go ahead and hit start construction. And we now have galleons that we can build as well as man of war that we can build. Now, to get the man of war, we need iron wood that's reinforced. We already have that, which is pretty nice. We also need the ship's wheels. We need to make at least get five of those or maybe you know scavenge five of those perhaps uh and then advanced cannons so what how, how much of these resources do we actually have right now well in regards to the advanced cannons it appears as though we have none so that's something we're gonna have to make ourselves uh and likewise with the ship's wheels we don't have them but we do currently possess a maxed out reinforced ironwood so that's going to be fine. We're done. We can actually build two Man of Wars with those resources that we have here. And then, of course, the Galleon is also possible to build with a variety of different resources, too. Um, but we're going to be kind of focusing on the Man of War. And you can see how much health this thing has, firepower. It's, it's going to be a real beastie boy here. So we're definitely going to want to go out and, and get that uh, as, as fast as we can. So to, to get those things, we need to go over into i guess it'd be construction right we need to make the advanced cannon workshop there's a lot of things that go into this but we've been making black powder already we've been making the you know the steel and stuff already so that's fine uh we have grease makers we don't have a cord workshop yet so we'll have to work on that uh and then fuses are something that we have not made yet either and a lot of these things take paint all right, so like you have to get the the paint mills and stuff going and that takes a long time because these two resources here you might recall are kind of locked as far as like their input like i've maxed out their inputs already so i, I can't produce more clay there's no deposits for it i can't produce more iron to make more steel because there's a limited number of deposits for it and the same thing goes with the pigment mine so all of these things here really depend on a finite very limited uh, amount of resources on all of our islands. So I can't go any faster with paint. It just requires me to play for time. Uh, so over here, I, I don't know about the cord ones. I'm going to be building all of these things. I'm most likely going to be building them on this new skull island here because we have a, a lot of room left over here on this island. There's lots of room right over here. And then there's a lot of room right over here on this side as well. And skull Island doesn't have all that bad as far as, uh, you know, the, the features of the island and stuff, really. It, it doesn't have any disadvantages to things that we're going to need. So uh, we'll probably be building a lot of that stuff over here at Skull Island. We have a quarter. Uh, what's the, the total amount of doubloons we have here? What is this, like 2.5 million now? Yeah. I thought it was a quarter million. I was like, wait, that's, that can't be right. No, it's 2.5 million uh, doubloons here. And the money just keeps rolling in at 15 plus per tick so like money is no concern to us and that leads me to what I wish the game had which is uh some kind of marketplace where I could import stuff but I suppose if you think about it it's kind of like the the British are trying to control everything around here but we have the Spanish we have the French man wouldn't it be nice to set up a trade deal with the French right now and and when doing so my relationship would maybe be deteriorated a bit with the other two Right, that kind of thing would be really nice to be able to have in the game, but I don't see that. And so we are going to need to, there's going to be a lot of a lot of cuts here, a lot of playtime sort of skipped in order for us to get this stuff. Because again, I'm kind of dependent on paint in order to build my initial buildings. I need 30 of it for the advanced workshop right there. I need another 15 for the fuses 
and it looks like I don't need any for the cords. So this is actually possible. Um, this is a 25 worker building. That's not bad. I don't think there's really anywhere for you in Hell's Gate, though. So why don't we head up this way and see if there's anything we can do. Yeah, Pantaloon Island, I think, is a nice spot for this. If I can find a nice spot for it. I have the worker capacity here. So if I can find anywhere to place this building, it looks like it's pretty full. Yeah, this is actually full. All right, well... <laughs> Look at how many ships they've... I probably should send a ship over here to, to collect this stuff. What do you think? Huh? I think I think maybe marking this stuff to be collected is a good idea. I'm not even entirely sure if I got everything there. Because it's all stacked on top of each other. We'll send one ship over here to just kind of collect this stuff, okay? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, all right, so yeah, we're probably going to end up doing it on Skull Island instead because I can uh, get more workers for that. So why don't we go ahead and we'll place this building um, maybe right over here. I don't want to get in the way of the bore. This looks like it's out of the way. So we'll place it here in that spot for the cords. We may even need two of them potentially. So um, it depends on what the input is. It doesn't actually tell me. Uh, a loom. Does it just work then? Oh. Uh, it just flat out works then cool no inputs well if that's the case then yeah we're gonna put a second one in here absolutely all right there we go so we've got two of those in and then the fuses which would use the labor force that i'm currently short on with this island so it's just a matter of like you know spreading out getting more buildings getting more advanced structures upgrading certain buildings to yeah, I have to cater to them, of course, so I have to figure out what's wrong with them. So they're too far away from the fight club, which I can get rid of that problem by just making uh, brick roads, right? I have a brick road that goes all the way up this far, but perhaps if it goes a little further, it would work. Or maybe I can just make another fight club, which given my current budget uh, is probably the better call just because it would just really solve all the problems all at once, right? So one more fighting pit, dear friends. There we go. And then I can upgrade all these houses and stuff to make sure we get enough workers for these new industries. And then uh, for the cannons, right? That's for our, our artisans here. I just need the paint for that. We have the black powder workshop already running. That's been running for a while. But the thing I don't see, and perhaps I'm... Let me just upgrade this, I guess, with a little bit of paint there. The thing I don't see... I think I maybe just have to go into the production tab and just scroll it for a bit. Um, maybe it's not intermediary resources, is it? I don't see a listing of how much black powder I have. And it doesn't seem to appear anywhere. You know? Building materials, it's not there. It's not anywhere. If I go to all materials and just keep scrolling, I don't see a readout for black powder in any list, in any UI, anywhere, for anything. And so it seems like it's just making it, right? Mortar into black powder is what it just seems like it's doing over and over, but there's no, it doesn't give you any idea anywhere how much you have. So uh, in, with that regard, I think the advanced cannon workshop, if we have to put black powder into it, it would just be a matter of, you know, trust me, bro, <laughs> that, that you have it. It'd basically be it. So I'm going to place that right here when I can. All right. But time has to pass because paint needs to be uh, needs to be created, and I'm I'm locked. I I can't now. You might think, well, okay, if you need more of this resource, maybe stop making the steel bars. Well, we're already full on steel bars, and so we are already stopping making them. There are no more consumption in those buildings while we're doing that, uh, and that's the same thing with the clay. We're already full on brick, therefore no more clay is being consumed by brick, and so as our supply of you know steel bars and brick and stuff fills up and those buildings stop producing, the supply of clay begins to flood to the other industries a little bit more reliably and we end up getting more. So I, essentially what I'm saying is in order to speed up the process on my end to give you these things, I actually have to do nothing because if I keep making roads, for example, I'm just gonna be eating into the clay and I'm not gonna be making progress towards those buildings that I need paint for. So I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to go in. I'm downgrading people's houses on the main island. Hoping to get Galley Island's available smiths to be as close to zero as possible. And uh, this is because smiths and up, they consume medicine. 
And it's because of this that I can't get any more artisans over here on this island in Skull Island. So I'm about 550-ish artisans shy of what I need to actually make all the things I need to make. I've got the wheelwright factory right here and it's producing. It just takes some time because there's very few people in there. Uh, and I've also got the advanced cannon workshop, which is working, but not at 100% either. And so what I'm trying to do in order to get these new industries to operate at 100% is I need to get more artisans here. I don't necessarily need the maximum. I just need more. And I, I'm unable to do that because these guys consistently do not have enough medicine. Medicine is another one of those resources that's dependent on a very finite resource, and that's dried herbs, right? So if we go over to the tactical map, there are three places, I believe it is, that have are dried herbs. There's Rogue's Hideaway Island here, Verdant Haven over here, and then Galley Island has some dried herbs. I don't remember if there's dried herbs anywhere else. It's been a bit since I've logged in here, but uh, it doesn't look like it, no. So those are the three places that have dried herbs, and I'm entirely dependent. All my island's worth of medicine has to come from the dried herbs that are on those three islands, and there's only one deposit each. And so if I was to click on, you know, one of them, let's go over here to Verdant Haven really quick. And we come over to the dried herbs, which is right here. So this source of dried herbs, I've got as many people working here as possible. I've got it as a priority building. I want it to operate as fast as possible, but there's nothing I can do to make it operate faster. And so what I'm left with essentially is a finite resource, medicine, being now consumed by simply too many people. So what I want to do is limit the number of smiths and increase the number of artisans. And so in order to do that, I have to reduce like this. So uh, because the smiths consume it, so if I go click on one of the, the manors here, they consume medicine, but the previous down house does not. All right. So that means that they won't use it. So if I have a bonus here and I, I've got tons of income, right? Although now that I've reduced how many smiths I have in the other islands, notice how my income is now way lower than it was before, right? I have tons of money, so I don't care. But um, so if I'm going to reduce the number of smiths on other islands, and that is going to also reduce the number of people who are consuming medicine. And if I can do this enough, I might be able to go back over to my other island. And uh, we, I would hopefully be able to see now over here that these guys are now able to consume the amount of medicine that we're uh, getting and now i can go ahead and upgrade these buildings there it goes uh, this one here has 30 now yet yeah, we can upgrade this one too and so now some of our manners will start filling up prosthetics will work itself out too that's dependent on the steel again so it's another like, we don't have enough iron right um but it's dependent on that so uh, i think what it really boils down to here is what you have to do is you need to control your population a bit too. You can't just have everybody be maxed out because you're unable to satisfy the, the higher needs because of those finite resources. I, I'll say it, I don't think it's an issue as in a problem with the balance of the game. I think it's an issue in that players such as myself are going to want to find solutions that allow them to max out populations, to maximize revenue and having more artisans and having them all taken care of and everything is going to be this thing that I think players will want to do because it sort of signifies that they're doing really well. But in reality, you can't do that because of the increases that these guys want. So I think on one hand, it's not, it's not really an issue with the game that I think the devs should do or anything. It's more like an issue with the game that I think most, most players who play these types of games, it doesn't really it's not going to hit them that this is what they have to do until they get to the final stage until they get to terror of the seas i think we're, you're not really going to get the the whole impact of just how much of a mix you need between these different islands so it, I, all i need to do really to get enough artisans to make these final things is just to go through every single island i have and take a look at the number of smiths you can see right here now in galley island we're a shortage of smiths right that's that's going to happen and there's nothing i can really do about it i have to bring them back in order to, to balance that out so i want this to be as close to zero as possible but the more smiths i get the less artisans i can have over there on that side so it's it's just about trying to balance that out and i think maybe maybe those houses right there will do it we'll see 
Uh, but yeah, it's, it's taking a while. If I, if I had to say one thing is a criticism of the game, I would say that this end, the, the ending here is, is actually being artificially dragged out. I think they've, they've made the ending of the game really slow. Uh, and I don't really see a reason to have done that, but they did. They made it really slow. I think it would have been uh, a lot better. Uh, you can improve it in my opinion. Again, it's all opinion. It could be improved by allowing access to these more advanced constructions earlier and allowing access to these types of things where I can start building up these supplies to make the man of war, for example, to the seafaring thing, I, I, you know, activate the advanced shipyard sooner. Because at this point, I'm now hit with a whole bunch of different, very advanced things. And I now need to rejuggle all my buildings and rejuggle my population to meet the very specific uh, requirements of this. And one of those requirements, of course, being that you need paint and paint is already ungodly slow. So uh, that, that would be where I would be at with that. Um, if I had to, if I had to give a criticism would be to, to allow access to these things earlier in the story, because otherwise we're left with. Uh, a very slow ending. Advanced Shipyard is, uh, I placed it right here and uh, you can see again, we have the Man of War here. So I now have enough ships wheels. Those are done. And we have been making advanced cannons up to this point. So now we're left with how many ship cannons we have advanced cannons right here. I have 12 now. So I, it really is again, a waiting game now until I can make enough cannons here. Uh, unless I can, of course, uh, add additional uh, cannon making buildings, which is not really something I can do since I don't have the artisans to support it anyway. So I have to have more artisans, you know, in order to do that. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm basically just waiting for this building and I can I can make it a priority building, right? And that, that would force the artisans around the Island. They would be more apt to work here over other buildings. We would, we would slow down other buildings instead. That is something we can do, but it doesn't help my shortage problem. It just makes it to where other buildings are working inefficiently and you're going to get a whole bunch of these little icons all over the place. And I think some players, especially those of you who really like to min max and like to be as efficient as possible, that's going to trigger you. Uh, having all these buildings just going nuts like this is going to trigger you and having negative numbers up here and having really no solid way to fix them is going to trigger you because your population is just simply too high. You have too much stuff now. You have to reduce. And I don't want to reduce. <laughs> I don't want to, uh, but you can, you, you, ha you have to, right? So like I have, like, say for example, 70 out of 70 cannons, I'm making a lot of cannons. I've made a lot of sales. Uh, I don't need any more cannon makers. Well, that, that takes care of the lower tiers. Is there something that I'm making for, with artisans that I don't need any more of, right? Is there something that artisans are making that I don't really need a lot of? Um, not really. I mean, I'm maxed out on pigment, but I think pigment is. Uh, where's my pigment mine? Is it over here? That's the copper mine, which is also just hired hands. Hammock workshops. Yeah, I don't I don't really know where that is. Um, kind of lost track of where my pigment mine is over here. I thought it was over in this side, but uh, it's, a, it's a different looking building. I mean, maybe this maybe it's this one pigment mine right here. Yeah, so a pigment mine right here. And it's it's the uh, the hired hands work in this one, too, right? Yeah, so I maybe I could remove and start reducing some of the people in these specific areas where I have a lot already, you know, like maybe I don't need as many ironwood logs because I have a lot of them already. Okay, so I can go over to the island where ironwood logs are happening and I actually don't remember which island that is now. I think maybe it was Verdant Haven, possibly. Was it, was it this island with the ironwood? I'm, I'm probably not correct on that, but... Uh, I can just do this, right? Yeah, just, just go over here, tactical map, and find it. Uh, Ironwood was Pantaloon. Yeah. So, Pantaloon Island, if I come over here to Pantaloon Island, I have a pretty good balance of people already here. Like, I, there's not a whole lot I can, I can tweak here uh, for this. But if I was to say, okay, I don't need any more Ironwood processing, well, that frees up. You know, I can take 100 Smiths away if I do that, right? So, I could just pause this. Or delete it so this one here for example let's just uh let's do that turn this one back on turn this one off by deleting and right away i can now downgrade some of these smiths not demolish i just want to downgrade i can downgrade some of the smiths now some of the manners right i've reduced my the necessity for this many workers over here 
And uh, in so doing, I can fr consume less medicine is essentially what I'm trying to do. And then I can come over and say, okay, well, I've consumed less medicine. Maybe these guys will, maybe the supply will build up again. We'll get more people moving in and then, you know, I can hit this button and I'll get more artisans. I'm still down 500 of them, right? So, uh, but in any case, I, I don't think it matters as much if you're willing to wait. And that's the problem. If you're willing to just wait, you can get them. You're not going to have to wait. You're going to get uh, a video cut right now. Okay. It's been going on for a bit. Uh, the other thing that can happen while you're waiting for all this stuff to go on is uh, your reputations and stuff will get affected because you're pretty much just focusing on the islands and trying to get resources. You're not necessarily focused on taking down pirates. And there's also less pirates available for you to take down because you've already eliminated all your competing com uh, factions. So it's really just the independent, uh, independent pirate ships now. So, uh, you know, there's not as many on the map. If I take a look at uh, all these things here, I've barely been, it. I've managed to keep it friendly now because I've been sinking these pirate ships. Um, so it's actually really easy. In any uh, I don't really care about that. It's fine. Um, it's actually really it easy to maintain your relationship with other of these people too. Party. Just by sinking independent pirate ships. Every day you come closer to the light of... So it's more like, uh, I guess what I'll say is, is that it's not a hard. It just takes a long time. Let us not waste time with a dance of words and... Play. Yeah, I'm just going to decrease that. It's fine. It's not difficult. It just takes a long time. And when the situation is matching that description, I usually say that there's some balancing work that can be done um, because it should feel like it's persistently challenging as opposed to just like, okay, incredibly easy, but I have to wait for this to be done. So uh, going on that note, there's actually something else that's going to happen here now too. I now have the resources capable to, or resources uh, required to make the Man of War. I have everything I need right here, except I don't have a captain and I have no ability to hire another captain because of the same sorts of like weird restrictions they placed on the game and that I can't have more captains and the captain's inns will allow me to. So it's another uh, restriction on this resource that I'm not able to have. And since you can't, at least in this version of the game, maybe in the future, I hope that they do this. It looks like their roadmap says they're looking to do this. So that's great. Uh, but at the moment, I'm not able to move captains from one ship to another. They're just locked in. So the only way I can do this is if I pick two, uh, actually three ships, I'm going to need to pick three ships uh to have them die <laughs> that's basically how i have to do this i need three ships uh to volunteer their lives so that's basically it so i'm gonna look around for my least experienced captains here uh i don't really want it necessarily to be the smallest ship either right i need that smoke for example this brigantine looks good pull you pull you aside uh this one here is level 23 you can have this brigantine pull pull the side as well uh what else we don't want to get rid of any of our uh, really big cat in the sloop. All right. Yeah. Anyone who's in a sloop needs to go for sure. Uh, brigantine frigate right there. Yeah. I think that's pretty much going to be it. This Carrick can probably go. I think the Carrick as well can probably go. There it is. Okay. So I think these are going to be our four brave volunteers. <laughs> they do it for, they do it for the glory. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to have them do actually is they are going to come over here and pick a fight all right but i'm going to try to do it in a in a place where maybe there isn't a huge amount of man they're they're guarding everything like right let's have it come over here um so this is like one of those big ones right one of the big ones one of the big ones they're all really front but right here they're not right like right here right i could get these guys so i have these brigantines go ahead and attack these ships that are sitting here because there's at least a chance to take them down. Yes, these guys will respond. And yes, I will lose these four ships. There's no way to do it. <laughs> there's just no way to... Uh, I'll just go ahead and have this be a group four, I guess. There's no way to attack this island. Uh, or sorry, to make the Man of War without losing ships. It's just kind of how that works. So we're going to get uh, group four to come on right over here. Let's keep our distance from Newport Island, Captain. I don't fancy catching a broadside from Wow. 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 It that didn't work out at all, did it? They just literally <laughs> I mean, well, it didn't work. Yeah, that's what was gonna happen anyway, but like I didn't anticipate them to be very 
aggressive on the approach and then on top of that the whole thing comes and blocks my view yeah I could have exited it out but like I was gonna lose the ships anyway so I didn't care but I didn't realize that that was gonna happen so wow anyway we are now down to 15 ships which is where I needed to be in order to actually build begin constructing a man of war here so let's go over to the captain's inn and see if I can hire some yep just need to hire some really assigned to a galleon or a man of war here it is Lavina McAllister right here you're gonna be on the in the man of war right here Miss McAllister okay it's got a lot of firepower this ship and we're gonna go ahead and have that uh do its thing and now we're left with 16 ships and maybe that's how they balance it maybe that's how they say okay well we don't want the player to be too strong at the end of the game but it's like <laughs> I've got three and a half million I mean <laughs> I should be able to just buy that island right now like let me talk to the Brits right and just say hey how about I give you two million doubloons to leave and they'll probably be like wow that's a lot of money thanks and yeah we'll leave you know whatever <laughs> like that that could be a thing that they do I don't know maybe they're really rich and it doesn't matter but I feel like that's something that could have could have been done uh let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit faster here we go there we go there get them out of here okay good and then we want to give this man of war some experience too i guess that's a ship the british won't know what's hit them until it's all over she's like shiver my soul <laughs> terror of the seas is completed now all right let's see what happens are the big ships gonna leave now yeah they all became enemies but the other ships are leaving now so this is it this is us Taken down the British. The British West Indies Company trade post on Newport Island is ours for the taking. It all comes down to this. The bastards that pulled the strings of the old Republic are within our grasp. Let's end this. I would have loved to have ended it with my, you know, four ships that I lost. But all right, fine. I guess. All right, take over Newport Island. One last hurrah. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. All right, and we'll get our ship over into the rest of the group there's our fair lady it's called and of course these guys are all enemies now too so we're gonna have to get over here I, I want that man of war to participate in this Let's pull back pull back pull back pull back pull back pull back oh they're shooting at me here let's pull forward pull forward all right and let's go let's go get the smoke on it there it is and we're gonna go ahead and take it out here there we go all right so man of war is dead good i have 15 ships selected i should have 16 ships did i just lose another one did i lose another one really just now did it, did it take out my my little one it did wow wow all right i lost another ship <laughs> guess i'll build another one it's fine uh we'll take uh attacking a brig assigned to a brig brigantine or frigate thomas montgomery we'll grab you and we'll build ourselves another frigate i think is, is fine here i should have well, i should have had improved cannons what happened improved cannons 28 really wow only 28 huh well looks like i'm gonna have to go hunting for some additional ones here did i lose my smoker no it's right here i didn't lose my smoker hmm okay I'm not sure how that uh how that went maybe I should just get another catch really quick that would be easier to get of course now I just hired my captain so I don't want to do that either way to get the improved cannons I need to you know destroy other ships so I'll go ahead and do that and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and attack the British we'll be right back actually I've decided I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> we're just gonna take him down so we want to pull these ships out of this first little port here first uh, they got a couple of really big ones here, so we're going to want to focus them if we can. Uh, I, I've got just the 15 ships right here, and uh, we'll get the improved cannons from, from taking these guys out at some point. So as soon as we get those extra couple of cannons, uh, that's when we will go. Oh, I'm in, a, I'm in a battle here. Where? Where am I in a battle? Oh, is that on the way here? That's fine. All right. Uh, I don't see any damage, though, so I don't think we're... Yeah, we're not in a bad shape here. Uh, okay, so we're just going to go forward here. We're going to focus the smoke on probably that man of war. There's two of them. If we can get 
on there. But we definitely want to focus as much damage as possible on the big ships, right? So let's open with... Oh my gosh, don't do this max speed. No, no, no. All right, we'll open with this little thing right here. Yep, and then we're going to focus everyone's attention on that. And I want to move in, I think, just a little bit here. So let's move in right about here. We can get just a little bit closer, man. Oh my gosh, this is... This is no good. Uh, I need to back this ship up. This ship can't back up, though. What I need is my Kesh. I need my smoke. It's in the back? What? My smoker's in the back? <laughs> this is not going to work really well, is it? Uh, all right. Well, um, yeah. How do we want to play this? Let's uh, hit that and that. And can't do anything there. Let's move forward, forward, forward right here, please. That we just sank. One ship got sank. This freaking smoke is so out of range. What happened? Oh my gosh. This is so out of position. The smoke. I, I can't smoke it. I got to back up. Back up. Back up. Everybody back up. Come on. Everybody go. Back up. Seriously. <laughs> the smoke is in the back. The very back. All right. Now move. Now move forward. All right. I want to slam this really hard since the man of war is not here yet all right now we want to smoke ah oh, come on freaking little ship get over here it just it it just doesn't because everyone's still moving so i don't know how to control the ships better i mean i did lose what one ship i lost two ships yeah two ships in that i mean pretty much their entire fleet is gone but i lost two ships uh, and just, just because I couldn't smoke that stupid thing. The good news is, though, is that the Man of War is far away. Okay. Uh, so it, it did not approach. And now I've got my Kesh in the front, maybe, at some point. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Now at least we know that the, the smoke won't be terrible. Let's put you guys over here like this. Spread out so you're not in each other's way, please. There we go. Much better. Okay, we can probably do better with this. All right, so I want to be able to get through here. We're going to just pop this ship really quick. Yep, and then draw it back out. Draw back out, draw back out. Stay, you sons of bitch, stay. Stay, 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 stay. All right, everyone, you're going to attack this ship. And the smoke is going to be ready this time to hit it. There we go. Okay, we at least got three seconds of peace <laughs> of not being able to get hit by this thing. We're going to hit all of these specials right there. There we go. All righty then. Well, that was not nearly as elegant as it should have been. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't engage with the knowledge of where my smoke was. Speaking of which, I think it's time we maybe get a couple more smokers. I, I, think, I think I like those things a lot. Uh, we are going to get someone who is got a bonus being assigned. We'll get Amelia uh, assigned to a cog cache or bark. Uh, she's not. They're not going to reach the level twenty anyway. Like, just get people, right? Because they're not going to get. Uh... Oh, is that my maxed out? I'm maxed out now. Okay. Uh, we're going to start by getting ourselves another cache. That's what I really need to do here. And uh, we're going to put Amelia in the cache. I don't really care what it looks like. Just build that really quick. And then do I have the resources to build a galleon? That'd be cool. Could I get one? Uh, I need 35 advanced cannons. If I'm going to do that many cannons, I might as well just go for the man of war, right? Just going to extra five cannons, whatever. I have 11, so. Yeah, we'll have to wait on that. Uh, I wonder if there's any way to speed that up. Mm, it's it's fine it's fine we're gonna we're gonna make this stuff up so we're gonna make the cache here that's getting built now and then we'll you know if we get, get enough resources to build the other ones that'd be fine uh but we're just gonna sit here for a second and i think i kind of want my my damage ships to get in the back all right and then uh it's about what we want to do to take out these towers there's two level threes I think I want the Man of Wars to do it. They have the biggest range. They have a really long range. So they should be able to hit those towers pretty well. I don't know if they'll be able to do it without getting hit themselves. That's a different thing, but we'll see. Looks like... N maybe. Well, yeah, it does a lot of damage. Damn, those cannons are awesome. 
All right, we'll take out that tower. Take out this tower too, please. Here we go. Uh, we definitely don't want to get hit by all of them though. So let's back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Everyone back up. Getting too, too adventurous here. Back up. Just the man of war. Just the man of war. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Turn around. All righty then. Hit that. You should be able to do it to where it's just a one-on-one -on -one match and that tower absolutely cannot withstand. The man of war is freaking awesome. Destroy 20 British ships or built and buildings. Uh, or buildings is what it says. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's attack this one. Actually, let's let's aim for the big one. The, the big one should be the one we do. Definitely. It's going to do the most damage to everybody else. It also lets my, my captain level up a little bit here. We'll just let the man of war do it because it's, you know, why risk the other ships? This thing can take a huge beating. And then I can just go back over and pay, you know, whatever it is money-wise to repair it. I have, you know, 3.6 million, so whatever. So we'll just hit that building. Yep. Hit the towers. Look at how much damage it does to that. This is a single ship doing this. It's crazy. Very cool. Yep. And then we're just, of course, leveling up the captain as well so that she can get the bonuses. I want her to be able to get those bonuses. Uh, we're not going to leave it hanging. So let's just, we'll leave everybody here in this area. But now, yeah, now the ship can just go in and, and take them all out. It'd be kind of cool if we could attack it from this side, but I get why we don't have that kind of range. These ones here are kind of out of position here too. Uh, okay, so back over here, we have our catch now. That's great. Uh, I would like to, uh, 13 cannons, not really ready for that yet. Let's go to... Uh, do we want to, we don't have enough improved cannons. Yeah, we, we still need more of those. So, uh, let's get a brigantine then. It's fine. We just need another ship. So we'll say, uh, yeah, Montgomery can be in a brigantine. Go ahead and build that too. And then this will go over with the brigantine and join up with the rest of the Navy. And then we'll proceed with taking down who we need to take down. Uh, looks like there's a group headed this way. It's just independent pirates. No big deal. Cool. Yeah, there we go. And everybody else is our friend, right? Hold on, diplomacy. Yeah, everybody else is very friendly with us because we're attacking we the British. Are all one under God. Yeah, yeah, cool. Do you not wish to? Sure, yeah. I'll definitely take that because that stuff is really. Look at the free traders don't like me anymore. What's up with that? Wow, free traders are just like, dude. We like the British. Why are you doing this? Or we're doing this because we don't. That's that's why. Let's go ahead and have that done go ahead and pick up all the loot here and uh we'll just leave these ships out here and we should bring them in let's bring them in we don't need them to be in the shipping lane although taking down independent pirates is usually a pretty good uh now i'm seeing this and it's making me think that this isn't the end of the game you know like maybe it's the end of the story but you get to keep playing afterwards that'd be fine um, I wouldn't do it, but that would be a fine way to do it. But it's like, is there more after this? Because this island has a lot of resources and another captain's in, right? So there's, there's stuff there. Uh, we want to, we want to get the loot here because there might be cannons in here. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I'm not seeing any improved cannons. I didn't get any improved cannons. Okay. So all of these ships that we have now, right? Everybody here. We're going to just take a little trip over to this island to get ourselves healed up, okay? Get ourselves uh, repaired. And then with this catch, having two smokes now, plus this brigantine coming in, we'll then be back to, I guess, full strength. Uh, I feel like we're weaker than we were with my four ships I had to sacrifice, but it's fine. I, I might have been able to get away with three ship sacrifice. I think I messed up the math on that. I think I would have been fine with three. But I, uh, it's fine. It's, it's whatever at this point. Okay, we are ready to once again engage the British at Newport Island. Uh, we have all the ships here forward here. Looks them pretty good. Uh, my Keshes are in the middle of the mix, not in the back. That's the important thing. <laughs> so they can influence this battle a bit more. I do want the Fair Lady to be kind of... A little bit more prominently positioned if i can get her there that'd be great you guys oh looks like they're gonna react right now cool all right everybody take your positions let's go ahead and uh 
Wreck them. All right, that was easy. And the other ones didn't respond. So that's good for me. It means I can take them one at a time. That's always going to be strategically better to take them all one at a time if we can. Looks like amass 50 insignias from the British as an achievement. Okay. This little ship here stands no chance. We'll just go ahead and eliminate that too. And the rest of them will start to react. Let's pull back just a little bit. I don't want to get involved with the towers if I can help it. There we go. Uh, no smoke available from that one. I can do smoke on this one though, and I, I need to. So let's hit that smoke. Let's get everybody up. There we go. That cache is screwed. Unless I get it out of there. So I need to get that cache out of here. And it's, that was too late. Okay. <laughs> That's what happens. And now we are left with two big ships to deal with. We have another smoke right there. Go ahead and hit that. Everybody should be attacking this. I'm not sure where this ship's going. Why is my fair lady running away? That's no good. That's the ship. Uh, like, of all the ships you'd want to be here, that's the one. And it is not here. Let's get everybody sprayed. There we go. Just, just drill everything you can into this ship, basically. Yep. Let's go like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Everything's in there. Ships are going all over the place. They are not making any sense. All right. We are uh, at 14 ships strong. We lost the cash. That's, that was expected. Um, just going to really quickly come on back here. And I, I probably will retreat just to repair. But we have Fair Lady if she's willing to, you know, actually fight this now. We could just bring the Man of War forward and have it mess up the uh, the towers. We'll focus on the Tier 3 tower. Eh, nah. We could, I, I, if I do this just right, maybe I can get the Tier 2 without, inter without involving the other one. Nah, I can't. It's okay. Everybody else is going to chime in here too. That's probably not a great idea, guys, but all right. Can everybody just shoot it? Yeah, see, now you're going to start taking damage as the weakest link, and I don't want that. Back up, please. Get out of here. Don't get in its way. Back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I can't get it out. Uh, hey, look. This guy's showing up. Great. I can smoke this. Uh, whole Navy. Please move forward. Let's get the whole Navy to move forward. This freaking guy. Smoke that, please. Oh, my God. That ship needs to get the hell out of here. I just can't get out because all the other ships are in its way. There we go. It needed to smoke the tower in order to escape the tower, but it, it did happen. All right. Good. All those other things can now get taken out, and I believe that's the end of the British on this island, is it not? Yeah, I think so. Once these uh, once these buildings are taken out, I think that's it. Let's just go ahead and eliminate these structures and claim the island. There we go. We have captured Newport Island. Claim all islands on the map is the achievement. Uh, this modest island, positioned in the southeast of the archipelago, has two impressive bays ripe with, sorry, ripe for building defensive fortifications along. Local stories tell of a strange ritual said to take place on the ridge of a curiously smooth mountain range on the night of a full moon. We've done it! We're free! Nobody can tell us what to do now, Captain. It's been one hell of an adventure, wouldn't you say? Indeed. That's it. It's over. The archipelago is ours. Is it time to set our sights on something bigger, Captain? There's an entire Caribbean out there for us to plunder. Hey, now, just take it easy. All right, just take <laughs> Very cool. Quest completed. I'm One last hurrah. I'm tired of taking orders from men, Captain. No offense, but I think it's time I struck out alone. I hope next time our paths meet, my foremast isn't ablaze. Take care. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not usually the one to call a stop to the pleasantries, but we just sacked a British trading company island, and none of you think they'll want to punish us for it? <laughs> right? Exactly. Uh-huh. All right. British West Indies Company will launch a powerful attack on Newport Island uh, in 15 minutes. <laughs> of course they will. A powerful attack on Newport Island. Okay. Well, I mean, we just stack it full of towers and these ships, right? That's how we that's how we get around this, I feel like. So first thing to do for this is to put a dock here. 
And apparently it goes on this side. So, okay, that's where the dock will be. All ships. Well, first off, let's get the loot because there might be advanced cannons in here and I would like to get some of those. So let's get the advanced cannons going here. In the meantime, we have all of this. So I think we go ahead and grab tier four towers if possible. Looks like we don't have enough guns to do that. Why? I've been making them this entire time. What the hell? What's going on? Is it the, the black powder into this is what it's... Oh. Oh, you've been using the black powder immediately for this. Maybe that's what that is all about. Still, though, I haven't really been using these guns. Hmm. I guess that's just like a need, right? Is that how that goes? Yeah, this is a need. So they've been consuming them. Which class of citizen is consuming those? Is it Smiths? Wants, needs. Is it artisans? Yeah, artisans. Oh, okay, they don't have enough firearms. Well, see, now I can go in and do or go through all the other islands and stuff and, and get them to, to be good with it. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna The British are coming for this specific island. So as long as we stack this specific island full of awesome defenses we should be all right and is it going to take a while to build up that kind of awesome defense you betcha but i think holy crap really oh the bricks right yeah well there's not enough resources to do that i can do it with tier one towers that's about it and i think i will just to kind of get the entrance to this place I would like to line this up with some really strong towers if I could. All right. So what I want to do now, I guess, is now that we're done scavenging, right? I hope. Can we get it? Yep. All the scavenging's done. Let's first off, let's get our Navy back towards this dock so that we can recover uh, that. Uh, next thing we should do is we should hook up the captain's hut so that we can get another one of those too. So let's grab the captains in right here or not. Right, I have to wait for the, I gotta wait for the wood. So I'll wait for the wood here really quick. It's not gonna take long, there it goes. Uh, and now I can hire up to 17. It only grants me one extra one, great. Uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll need another, I want another man of war. I would love to have two of them. That would be really swell. And if I had known that they were gonna launch one more attack, <laughs> I guess I'm not as smart as Isabella. Um, if I had known that, then I might have waited to take out that final building until I had another Man of War. That would be one one thing to do. That's one of those meta gamey things, or it's a common sense thing where it's like, hey, yeah, the British aren't just gonna like let you have it. Still, I think I have enough strength to take them, depending on what kind of attack this is. I I have the upper hand in that that I have uh, defenses and stuff. At least that's what. Uh, you know, we, we saw before. Let's move this over here. Uh, let's move some of these ships in. I need them to be close enough to get repaired. It's just hard to get around a lot of these other ships that don't need repaired. All right, you guys repair. All right. So we want to be dug in as deep as possible towards the dock. We want everybody to just be way in here. We want to make them come in at us, right? We want them to come to us. And we have enough for another tier three tower. I'm going to place that here. If we can get them to come to us and get them, you know, into this area while they're fighting, these towers should be able to hit them. And we can actually get another one probably up right there next to that. So we're going to want to force them into this area. And I think maybe we demo these two and bring them out here instead. I think that's going to be a good idea get this tower to be there so like a lot of towers in this area to help us we just want our ships to be as far back as possible yep and then uh we're gonna need a couple more ships too right so we have uh what 10 minutes so we want to uh build some, some additional ships too what does it cost me for a galleon yeah i really think just there's no point in building a galleon if you can build another man of war with the same resources it's it's not technically the same resources this is reinforced ironwood and this is just the standard ironwood um but i have the reinforced ironwood right i have 68 of them i could i could build two more of these man of war 
Um, I just need 40 of these guns, and that is going to take a very long time to get. So I probably won't get those in time. So I should get, the, I should make the things that I can get, and I still don't have an improved cannon. So we're going to go for brigantines, and we'll have Margaret Blackwood be on a brigantine for us. Uh, to get the improved cannons, right, you have, to, you have to sink other things, like sink that galleon and things like that. So we could look at that and maybe get enough. If we sink this one ship right here, maybe that'll be enough. Let's bring it out. We'll sink this one ship, see if the improved guns come in here. And if it does, then we'll make another frigate. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's brigantines for us. Here we go. And we don't want to take any damage if we can help it. So let's smoke it first. And then we just take it down. No damage taken. Very nice. And no improved cannons there. Okay. Uh, these guys are our enemy now. The free traders. They don't like us anymore. Yeah. We can request a meeting and see if we can do anything about that. But otherwise, basically everybody's our enemy now. <laughs> That's inevitable, right? All right, that is the last ship that I can make. I'm at 17 people now, and we're going to send that ship over here. Here is my Navy. <laughs> Here's where we are. This is where we make our last stand, boys. Right here. Okay, so I've got uh, two caches. I've got uh, the ability to smoke a couple times here. Yeah, I've got the ships kind of nested back in this little area here, and uh, we're going to have the, the caches kind of be in the middle here so they can smoke. Uh, we're going to surround them with other ships, kind of like this. There we go. And then the Man of War, front and center. The Man of War is right there at the top. Hopefully, they can take uh, a lot of the beating from whatever ship's coming in. And that will allow us to have a continuous barrage of fire from the other ships, is what I'm hoping for here. Uh, we have the last Brigantine making its way over uh, to here. Now, un unimpeded, no enemies in sight through here. And... Uh, yeah, we just have about another minute or so until we see what kind of attack this is. Then we'll launch a powerful attack, it says, on this island. Uh, on the back side here, I've got a lot of level one towers just because I had some extra stuff laying around. So I said, okay. Uh, and then we have almost enough now. This defensive tier three. You can put another tier three tower up if I need to. I almost have enough, but I have enough already for tier two. So tell you what, let's go ahead and put... Well, actually, I'll tell you what we could do. Uh, let's get the resources back for one of the tier twos and make a tier three out of it is what another thing I could do. Yeah. So let's take the resources back, demolish this one, and we now have enough room. Ooh, not quite. I thought we would have enough, but we don't because I'm bad at math. That's how that works. Wait, fine. Put that back. Uh, I'll put another tier two one right here because we're probably going to get ready to go here. Uh, so yeah, lots of towers and... Uh, Whatever their attack is, it's coming from this side. Looks like. There it goes. Uh, okay, that is a powerful attack. <laughs> that is... That is retaliation. For sure. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to see the captain's name. Huh? Looking for the governor is what I'm looking for. Yeah? He's not here? All right, fine. I wonder if they will... Uh use any of their special skills by any chance they are coming from the correct direction which is really nice to see uh so i want to get this ship nested back here get this ship over here kind of start shifting ships around here because otherwise they're not going to be able to participate in this so i want them to kind of be over here on this side so you guys can participate in this and then these towers will start firing right away at least they should start shooting right away and I want to make sure that my guys do not react to this. Let these let these things. That's fine too. That that reaction's fine. I just want you to stay put. Stay where you are. Do not move. Stay where you are. Keshes can come up, I guess, next to the man of war. Everyone else, just freaking stay where you are. I, there's no way to control your ships like this. There's no way to say, by the way, don't move. You, you just can't do it. The game doesn't allow it, and it's annoying. Yeah, I can't tell the ship not to move. So they're all going to start moving forward anyway. They're all totally out of the formation I wanted for them now. Just stay put. Let the towers do their jobs, damn it. They're not going to. Back up. All right, everybody back up. There's like no way to tell your Navy without continuously clicking. There's no way to tell your Navy to get the hell back and let the towers do their job, which is to weaken them initially. Get that initial weaken 
Now that they're all bunched together, now we can move forward. Okay, now I don't want to start having this happen. I need the smoke there. They're, in, they're out of order now. They're not in the formation that I had for them, which is the problem. The man of war should be at the front. And now I want to start smoking them. Let me get a smoke right here would be great. Boom. That's one smoke. I want to be able to chain that. I need that catch to move up. Where the hell is he? Where is he? This one. Oh my gosh, you're so far back now. There's just no way to get these ships to behave the way you tell them to consistently. All right, I need that. It's going to have to be right. Get, just get a little more forward. There you go, right there. All right. At that point, the smoke is done. So now it's to up to our scatter shots, which are out of position again. Because they moved, but we'll have one scatter shot there, looks like. Yep, all my scatter shots are out of position. All right, let's get some wind in our sails. Move this way, please. Just reposition so that you actually have a chance. Okay, now we'll hit scatter shot here, scatter shot here, scatter shot here. Everybody just scatter shot the hell out of this entire group. That's what we need. Not you. You're not. You're not up for this yet. Neither are you. Okay, you two are gonna be in the back. We're gonna hit hit the man of war that we can. Hit that one. Hit that one and hit uh, that one go lots and lots of chaos there in that now we have scatter shots here and there all right now it's just a matter of hitting them as hard as we can and hoping that we have enough firepower to do it there we go let's get a scatter shot on that one right there there we go it wasn't as pretty as i had planned i had ships in specific places but um it it worked out okay that very powerful attack and we ended up doing it way over here, so the towers didn't even help me, but it was enough. We had enough firepower to make it happen, so that's very cool. All right, cool. Defended it. I wonder if Jack Rackham survived. I didn't notice if the frigate fell or not. Yeah, we finally have peace. Captain, we did it. We bloody well did it. The British will think twice before they strike us again. <laughs> Cowards, the lot of them. It'll take more than that to topple the new Republic of Pirates. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Republic of Pirates. I'm uh, I'm pleased with it. I, I know they have a roadmap. They're going to be developing it further. They're going to be adding a lot of new features. They're going to be adding a lot of little balance changes and stuff. Uh, I would say they have a really good start. They got a good foundation. They've self-described the game as sort of Anno light. And I think it's a pretty accurate description uh, of what it is. I had a good time with it. I hope you guys did too. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for joining my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, consider doing so. And then there's also, of course, a ton of other content on this channel that could be interesting to you as well. There's over 3,700 videos uh, to look through here. Lots of different playlists. So I hope you will... Uh, check those out and see if anything else tickles your fancy. Okay. My name is Charlie. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. It's been fun. Bye-bye.